fracking site, Springville. Oliver is the landowner. Chief is the gas company. Look at all the silica dust coming off of that hopper. They've already been reported to OSHA. OSHA has been here to test them a few days ago. They'll probably have violations. That's the fracking crane. in the county. Is that happening something? Yes, I'm documenting what's happening to my county. Okay. For five years now I've been documenting. So what can you help me with? Uh, I was just wondering what you're doing. Yeah. You want to know what well, I'm doing? Well, there's a lot of trucks going to be coming in here, so... I understand. I've seen a lot of fracking for five years. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Where are you from? I live in Bubbleton. Where? Bubbleton, Wyoming County. Oh, Wyoming County. Oh, you're you're Pennsylvania at least. Oh, yes. You're not a complete foreigner. No, I've lived here since I was born here, and then I moved away and moved back here in 86. I uh, lived on my dad's farm, that's where I grew up. How do you like all that silica dust coming out? That's, you know, bad for your lungs. Uh, nothing I can do about that. You can't? How about wearing a respirator? Wow. You breathe that in, it's like asbestos. It'll be in your lungs and you're going to get sick from it eventually. Silicosis. I understand. OSHA was here a few days ago. Were you here when that happened? Uh, they tested all of them. They tested some of the workers for eight hours. They tested some of the workers? Yeah. Oh, yeah? Mm -hmm. Do you know about that? No, I didn't. Well, now you do. So they, they, must, test 
They must have been here during day shift. I work at nights. And what do you do? What's your shift like? Uh, six at night, six in the morning. And what do you do? I'm in the guard shack there. Oh, I'm you're. Side, oh. I side people in and out. So you're a guard then. So, yeah. Well, they came here and they tested them. See all that dust? It shouldn't be flying like that. And they're probably going to flunk. We already had three sites fail to test in our county this year. And they get fined. They have five, they're exposed five to six times over the limit allowed by law. The people are exposed, so they have to change their practices. You want a card for me? Let me give you a card. No uh, yeah, if you don't mind. Sure. Do you want to live next to this? Do you have a family? Uh, yes. Do you want your children next to this? Your kids? Do you want your kids next to this? I got kids and grandkids. I don't want my kids next to this. I got two kids myself. Right. Do you want them to breathe? This is wafting all over the place. This is spreading all over the place and we got to listen to the noise. You want to sleep next to this? This is months of activity. And they, they we have like 800 wells in the county so far. Hundreds of sites. Yeah, it's only going to get worse. I mean, right. They're not going anywhere. Oh, they are. Well, that's why we're here. They're going to try and stop it. That's why we got the moratorium in New York. We got a moratorium in Maryland, Delaware, Illinois. So we're going to have them all over. And then we have a senator right now, Senator Furlow. Do you know that name? He uh, just put out a bill. He's putting out a bill to push for a moratorium in Pennsylvania for three years. All the impacts that we have here, people with bad water, breathing air that's bad, the noise, the health impacts. So it's got to be stopped at some point. This is not the way to get energy at our expense. It's a problem, believe me. I mean, it's obvious. I don't have to tell you. You know? I don't have to tell you, sorry. <laughs> What's your first name? Andrew. Andrew, hi Andrew. I'm Vera. Right. But, from Susquehanna County? Yeah, I live in the northern part of the county in the Silver Lake. There's my address, okay. Brackney. Yeah. I'm in Brackney, so that's the mailing address. So that's that's my calling, you know, to expose them. I know you guys have to have work, but it's the companies. There's got to be a better way to get energy. Right. And you don't mess with the earth. This is down deep, thousands of feet. Oh, I know, I know. And they're bringing it up. It's supposed to stay there. It's filthy. It's dirty. It's dark energy. You know? It's, it shouldn't be let out. It's like a Pandora's box. If you ever want to come for a tour and see people who've been harmed, I showed them what the gas companies will not show. There's that compressor station. See that hill up there? Yep. Can you see that thing? That's yep. had a fire last year, a leak fire and burned for four and a half hours. They had to repair the roof. They had to repair the whole front and melt it. They had to replace the compressor. Uh, I remember reading about that. You saw that, right? Yep. I was there when it happened. I followed the fire trucks from Montrose and then filmed it and called the media in. So this is what we're dealing with. Who wants to live next to this? We got all our schools are leased. Can you imagine that? Uh, well, it's nuts. The people that sign the leases, you know, they're they're agreeing to this stuff. I, mean, it's all I know, but they, a lot of them don't know. They have no idea. When they signed, nobody knew it was going to be this. They didn't tell them. They just said to them, "Listen, we're going to be in and out quickly. There'll be one like a metal pole in the ground, a, like a little cross, and we're out." You won't even know we're here. That's the crap they give them. 
So they decided to believe them because they want the money. You know, they're desperate well, for the people money. People need the money, yeah. Yeah, so they're desperate. They need the money. They didn't know about compressor stations, then the pipelines, the whole web of them being dug everywhere. The whole land is being exposed to it. 